Platform 6.3 has been banned, what should we do now? Well, this video is uh, mainly focused for people that are actively trading and were using Platform 6.3 as their main way in order to buy skins and then resell them. I'm just gonna tell you what I know personally. Uh, this may not be 100% true, this is just what I found on Google and all that stuff and in Discords. So let me just tell you uh, what we currently know. Well, that's the following. So first of all, the Chinese government, of course, they banned the cases. On Buffalo Sings 3, you are no longer able to buy cases. And that's no big deal because nobody cares about these cases. But then China banned Buffalo Sings 3 for foreigners. And one thing that you have to note that it was not Buffalo Sings 3 themselves. They wouldn't, um, they wouldn't ban uh, foreigners because they lose a bit of money. But it was uh, either the Chinese government that did this. So uh, this has also been happened like seven years ago or even longer in the Netherlands, Belgium and maybe some other small places and France. I believe you can't even open cases in the game. And that's uh, things, policies that the government, in this case the Chinese government, has told Bonfons Free to do. And uh, therefore we know that this probably isn't going to go revert back to how it was. So... I think we can clarify that Buffalo Street is gone permanently, although of course I'm not really sure. Now, what can you do? Well, we can't sell or deposit any funds, so we can't uh, deposit on Buffalo Street. Let me show you. If I go to the website, you only see a withdrawal option. There's no deposit option for me, and um, you can't also sell if I go to my inventory and I just want to sell random skin. There's no sell function because it requires real name verification, which basically means that you need to show your ID, so a driver's license, something like that. But what you can do is you can still buy skins and you can still, still place uh, bargains. So you can spend all the remaining balance that you have on the site. One thing that we have to note is that um, the only way to... Withdraw is with Alipay, so you can't withdraw also. And um, the fourth thing is that bulk buy is way harder. That's literally the only thing that I'm a little bit um, sad about with this. Because I used to have a lot of buy orders on uh, different Steam accounts. And they will just be running 24-7. I would get free skins uh, all the time. Sell them for a big profit, but now it's gone. So it's really hard to find another place where I can bulk buy skins for a relatively cheap price now let's go to the conclusion of this part we can't uh, use buff on screen anymore because it requires alipay account or chinese bank account so there's no way to obtain balance as of my knowledge because you can't click on deposit so i think it's not possible to obtain balance and i don't know how long we're still able to buy because currently we're able to buy and bargain I don't know how long this is going to be. Maybe it's going to be forever. I won't know that. Now, most importantly, where to buy slash sell now. Now, it's nothing quite crazy, but here are just a few things that I have noted. So first of all, the two biggest ones that I think are going to get a lot of traffic and are going to be good ones to buy under buff price. Now, for what I mean with best place to buy is the best place to buy when you're flipping skins. So when you're buying places, you want... Uh, when you're buying skins you want to buy from places that have prices that are cheaper than Buffalo Street and you want to sell them for, uh, to other places for a lot of money so that's what I'm explaining like uh, almost all of the platforms have skins that are pretty good price you know maybe 5% more than, than Buffalo Street but these are the ones with low deposit fees and um, low what you call it and with good items that are like uh, lower than the Buffalo Street price so CS Float, a lot of traffic is going to come here, I think, because this is one of the sort of OG sites that everybody trusts and used. Now, for low, teams, I, low tier items, there's a lot of profit to be made on CS Float. Uh, but when you're searching for bulk items slash high tier items, it's not that do good. Now, what I mean is, uh, let's say that you go to the market and you go to uh, Desert Eagle Print Stream. Let's say we take a look at this. What I mean is the thing is that if you go to lowest price, we search it on, for example, a minimal wear. Now I mean feel tested like this. The thing is, let's say that this is a good price or uh, wait. Now I need to, for my example, I need to go for minimal wear. 
that was what I was trying to say. So if you do it from the minimal wear, then as you can see, the price is going up very, very fast. So maybe this one for 40 euros is a good skin to buy, but this one for 42 is not profitable anymore. And that's the thing. Like it's really harder to bulk buy right over here. You can't also set buy orders as of my knowledge. So that's the thing. Or I believe you can set buy orders, but they don't feel that often. So that's the that's the downside of this. Now then we also have gamer pay. Gamer pay is basically the same. Low tier items, lots of profit. High tier slash bulk items, not that good. It's also pair to pair and has almost the same deposit fee. See, his float was 1.5. Gamer pay is 1.7%. And then I have a third one, which is kind of um, something that you can just take a look at occasionally. Now, uh, on this site, which is called White Market, it says here that there's a 0% deposit fee on crypto. Personally, I haven't deposited on this site yet. But when I go to this site called Price Empire, um, sometimes I just went to this deal section and I see that there are a lot of skins from White Market. So this may be something that you can take a look at. So let's say that we go to a random one. Uh, I, I found one earlier that was about this StatTrack Pulse. I believe it's maybe gone right now. But uh, there are a lot of skins that are pretty decent prices. So there was this one and you could buy it for $8.40 and right here it's priced at $10. So that would be a decent profit. Now with the 0% deposit fee, uh, that's just the main upside of the white market. It's also pay to fair. So just take a look at this. I don't know if it's that good, but uh, maybe it's something cool. Now optionally, I have gambling sites. So you have a lot of gambling sites, Empire, Raw, Polygon, Clash of GG, and you have a lot more. But the thing is, as a... Um, as just a normal guy, you're usually not going to snipe that good deals just because a lot of people have bots on these sites and they've automated all the systems. So probably all the skins are going to get sniped instantly. Then you also have list skins where uh, it's okay for mid-tier items. Uh, there are a lot of uh, semi-cheap uh, knives and gloves, like at 50 euros range. But I believe there's a high deposit fee, but I've never deposited on this site. So you have to take a look at it yourself. But I believe it's a high deposit fee. So that's the reason why it's a little bit uh, bad to buy from there. Now, optionally, you can try to just stay on the market. What I mean with this is what you could do is you deposit some money into the market or you just sell some skins right here. And then you use the balance in your account to just buy skins right over here. Since this is a bot marketplace, that means that they stay in your inventory of your D-Market sort of website. So they never leave... Um, the inventory they, they never could go to in your, in your, to your steam inventory that means that in seven days you can sell them back to the plaf platform and what you can actually do is you can go to skin and you can click on target and what it basically means is basically a buy order so you can make buy orders and then you sell them back to the market itself after a week or after you got the skin and it's tradable then you sell it back you make a profit i've actually made a video about this it's i believe my first video on my channel Check it out if you want to do that. Now, why? Um, one thing you have to note is the market has around the 7.5 deposit fee and 10% withdrawal fee. So it's really bad to uh, spend your money there. I wouldn't recommend it. It's it's only good if you do the strategy that I told you and you just keep the money on the market itself. Now, what are some good marketplaces to sell at? I see that we're already at nine minutes. So it, it has been going uh, longer than I thought. Now, what are some good marketplaces? First of all, I just say Skimport. Skimport, why? It's one of the highest volumes in, in, the, yeah, in the marketplaces. It also is from rich countries. So I believe it's a lot from Denmark, United States, and Germany. It has around 5 million visits per month. So a lot of people buy for relatively high prices, which means that it's great for selling skins. Now, one thing that is bad is that there's a 12% sales fee which is a 6% sales fee if your item is worth more than $1,000. You also have a Discord server where you can promote your private listings, and then there will only be a 2% fee, but it's really hard to sell in that way. Now, the thing is, it's a bond marketplace, so the 12% fee and the bond marketplace, that's the thing which sort of breaks this side. It has high prices, it's good volume, but it's high fee, and it's also a bond marketplace, which means that it will take more time. 
and you're not able to buy good skins at Skimport anymore because there are just so many people doing that and so many people have bots. So uh, try it. For some skins it works, for some it doesn't. Then I have Waxpear, Waxpear and Marxist Go. Basically it's type of the same sites. Waxpear is a site that uh, you that is used for... Okay, let's say you're on a gambling site, you just want some money. Then if you click on withdraw, usually you buy the skins from Waxpear. And um, that's how Waxpear has a lot of volume. So it's a peer-to-peer -peer site. And basically what I told you, uh, because it is on a lot of gambling sites, then it has a lot of volume and your skins get bought pretty, pretty fast. Then we also have Marketsys Go, which is the biggest Russian market. A low tier items, it is very high volume, but high tier items, not that much. If you're flipping low tier items, what I mean, like less than $40, then this is a really good site to sell your skins. But one thing to note is that these are things are both peer to peer, so you have to be at your computer if you didn't automate it. If you did automate it, then it's very good to use. Now you also have camera pay because become elite, yeah. So you have a 0% bank. Uh, deposit and withdraw fee but you have to pay $60 per month or 54 if you do it every six months but uh, that's the thing so 60 euros per month uh, but then you have a 0% fee so for some people it's useful but I believe you need to spend at least 3,000 euros something around that so uh, I don't know if you're going to do that but if you're going to do that that's maybe useful then CS float only has 2% sales fee Plus a 0.5 to 2.5% withdrawal fee. I have withdrawal, so that's what I found on the internet. But the prices are at buff on six free price. So you won't be selling for a very high prices. So that's the downside. Now, that was everything that I currently know about the buff on six situation. So join the Discord update for future updates. Wait, join the Discord server for future updates. Link in the description. Uh, if you want to talk about this more, you can also leave a comment. I hope this helped you and I have to go quick. So I say bye.